want to show you guys my baby. Come here, Milo. Say hi, Milo. <laughs> he just wants to go to sleep. What's wrong, Bubba? You have to say hi to the peeps. Say hi. I'm a chihuahua and a poodle mix. And I'm cute. Let me put you to bed, okay? Okay. Oh, it's been a process trying to start this video. But, um, so basically earlier, I, sorry I keep looking here, that's my viewfinder. Um, earlier I had already done my makeup, but I really wanted to film a video because, as you can tell by the title of this video, I got my hands on the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe and I've just been dying to play with it. Chloe! Anyways, so yeah, so I've been really eager to play around with this palette. Um, if you guys don't know Jaclyn Hill, she's a really big YouTuber and um, she's just so amazingly flawless with her makeup abilities. I am all about supporting people that come out with collaborations or anything like that, especially if I like them, just because there's a lot of work that goes into it that people don't know about, and if I genuinely am drawn to that product, I'm gonna get it. So, um, anyways, I'm a huge fan of Jaclyn Hill, and I'm so happy that I was able to get this palette. The rest of this video is going to be like a talk through, um, or a voiceover, just because I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Um, sorry, just so, for those that haven't seen it, this is what the palette looks like and it's just so beautiful I like the only the only problem that I can see with this palette already that there is no matte uh, eyebrow bone shade or like just a shade overall to set um, to set an eye primer or anything like that that would be my only suggestion about the palette um, to Morphe and to Jaclyn is that it would have just been nice to have a matte shade like that just so I don't have to reach for something for another palette or something else in order to set that with or to highlight my brow bone with but other than that I mean this palette you can literally have this palette only in your life and I feel like you would be okay there is everything in here warms, neutrals, cools, pops of color, and it's just, I don't know, it's just so amazingly beautiful, and I'm so proud of Jaclyn. But yeah, I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get my hands into this palette. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing with my look yet. I, like, I don't even know what colors I want to play with. I know I want to incorporate one of these colors down here. I want to play with color just because I don't really do that on my channel. I usually go for the warm neutral tones, so I really want to try and navigate away from that. Um, and yeah, I just want to have fun. Like, that's what makeup is all about, and I feel like that's what Jaclyn Hill represents. She's always saying that makeup is fun. It comes off like there's no need to be serious about it, and I definitely want to set that tone with my channel as well. This is a place for everyone where you can come and just watch me play with makeup and hopefully you do too. And there's just no judgment and I love that. So again, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Hey guys, okay, let's go ahead and get started on brows, bam. <laughs> uh, first I'm gonna go into my Tartlet palette and I'm just gonna take this, um, white shade. I did mention that the only thing I wish that the Jaclyn Hill palette had was a matte white shade to go ahead and set everything. Um, then I'm going into my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette just because this shade Tempera or Tempera, however you pronounce it, the shade in here is really, really pigmented, this shade of white. So now I'm going to go in to the shade MFEO in the Jaclyn Hill palette 
and I'm using a Morphe M441 brush. I am not sure I'm going to know the rest of the brushes that I'm using this video, but this is just the one that I always start with, so that's why I know it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take this into my crease. Now I'm going in, actually, I'm sorry, I started off with Silk Cream. Now I'm going in with MFEO uh, with the same brush. Just going to go ahead and work on my crease area. Go ahead and blend all that out. And then I'm going in with the shade Butter. This is a really pretty color. Um, I'm going in with a Sigma E40 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that lower than Silk Cream and MFEO. Then I'm going in with the shade Roxanne. And I don't know what brush this is. I'm so sorry. But I'm just going to take that even lower. Just getting closer and closer to my actual crease. So everything else I'm taking above. And this I'm going like right along my crease line just to go ahead and appear make it appear like it has more depth then I'm just gonna go ahead and start kind of feathering it out towards my tail of my brow and then I'm going in with the shade chip and you guys I really like this shade I don't know what it is but it's just it's really cool and it's a really good shade to go ahead and deepen everything. When I applied it um, just as a swatch, I really like the shade of this. Then I'm going to go in with some eye primer. It's either eye primer or a concealer. I'm pretty sure it's eye primer though. It's usually the I Love Stage one. And I'm just taking a concealer brush. And I'm going to go ahead and carve out my crease. Um, I did want to do a cut crease look with this. Um, and then I'm going in back to that Tartlet palette and going ahead and setting all of it in place. Next I'm going in with the shade Jada. And oh my gosh you guys, this color is so, 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 so pretty. I just, I'm automatically drawn to these kinds of colors just because like turquoise, teal, blue, anything like that is my favorite color. So when I saw this color in this palette, I just knew that I had to do something with it. So um, I'm just going in with a shader brush, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I'm just going to go ahead and pack this color into where I applied that concealer or the eye primer. I, I don't know which one it was, sorry. Then I'm gonna go back in with Chip and I'm just gonna go ahead and deepen that up and make sure that everything is blended together. After blending all that in, I'm gonna go in with the shade Pool Party and I'm taking my clean finger with this just because it is a metallic shade so um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I could have used a brush with it too, but I just feel like more metallic shades would go on better with your finger versus a brush. Then I'm going in with my LA Splash Elixir. This is just so um, it can go ahead and adhere like metallic shades or sparkly shades, anything like that. I will say that... Um, in this tutorial like while I was doing my makeup I do think that this is more for loose glitter rather than pressed um, pressed glitter shades already so loose glitter it'll just be like in a tube and it'll be flying all over the place once you open it the pressed ones are like the ones in this palette although it did show up I do believe that that elixir is made purposely for the loose pigments so just a heads up um, you can use anything though I'm pretty sure even an eye primer would have worked for this or even some Mac fix plus or any kind of setting spray then I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up that tail with a makeup wipe and then I'm going in with my liquid liner this is the NYC liquid liner and I'm so sad that it's kind of drying out because I'm running out 
and they don't sell this anymore in the US so I'm gonna have to find another eyeliner um, that works as well as this I do like the Mary Kay one but I just also work better with a brush like the one that I'm using right now so if you guys have any suggestions as to which liner go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know which one I should get my hands on next I'm going in oh my gosh I'm so excessive with three different foundations I'm using two L'Oreal um, Pro Glow foundations and then I'm using the LA Girl so first I'm going in with the Pro Glow in shade 210 and I'm using this on the perimeter of my face and then this is shade 207 and I'm using this like anywhere in between and mostly the center of my face to go ahead and bring more light to it and then I'm adding the LA Girl on my brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this all in. I want it to look super glowy as you can see and you definitely don't need to use this much foundation I just wanted to do the most with my makeup today because I just wanted to do some full coverage makeup and that's what makeup is all about it washes off anyway make sure you go ahead and take your foundation down to your neck as well um, you just want to make sure that everything blends seamlessly and you want to make sure that everything looks like it's the same color next I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape concealer I haven't used this concealer in such a long time um, I still am running out though I'm like scraping the sides to finish this concealer uh, I love this concealer for the coverage I don't love this concealer because of how dry it makes my under eyes feel so I made sure before I started this video when I did all my skincare and everything to make sure I used a hydrating eye cream but I just I feel like I shouldn't have to use that for a concealer you know what I mean so um, I do love it I love the coverage of it I love how long it wears I love the fact that it doesn't crease as fast and that you have time to play around with it before setting it um, but usually whenever I do use this concealer I use it with another one that's more hydrating I didn't do that today though just for the simple fact that I did use a hydrating eye cream with it um, but yeah just a heads up and then I just blended this out with a brush a morphe brush and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this with some setting, setting powder, excuse me. The powder that I'm using to set all this is my Airspun Translucent Powder. You can get this at like Walgreens. That's where I got mine. I don't know where else they sell it. Maybe Rite Aid or CVS, but for sure Walgreens I know of. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure to set my chin, um, sides of my nose, my under eyes and my forehead as well just because those are the areas that I tend to get more oily and especially the fact that we used all these illuminating foundations you want to make sure to set them so that they don't move around throughout the day then I'm just gonna go in with any fluffy brush and I'm gonna take the remainder of the translucent powder and just go over my face um, I realize doing this kind, kind of takes away from the luminosity of the foundations, but I needed something for my bronzer to stick to so that it doesn't come out patchy. So for bronzer, I'm using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. You guys can see that it's well loved. Um, I haven't used it in so long, but just like the amount of coolness, like in tone with this bronzer, made me really want to use it against 
the teal shadow. Then I'm going in with some more translucent powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and clean that bronzer up. Sorry for the light change here. Uh, the sun was starting to go down. But I'm just gonna go in with the colors that I used in my crease. So those are Silk Cream, MFEO, Butter. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a mixture of these on a pencil brush and I'm gonna go ahead and um, smoke out my lower lash line and then on a definer brush I'm gonna go ahead and take the color chip and that's the really dark one that we used in the crease and I'm also gonna take a mixture of Roxanne with that as well just to tie in the more warm tones then for the inner corner shade I took the shade beam for this and you guys this inner corner highlight is like so real I loved how awake it made my eyes look then I'm just gonna go ahead and dust off that translucent powder this was just to go ahead and clean up the bronzer anyway so it doesn't need to be there for that long then I'm going in with the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette I like saw this and I was like oh my gosh perfect I'm just gonna use this as well so I'm taking the shade Champagne Pop from that face palette and I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbones, make sure that the glow is real. I really like taking it up further into my forehead lately just because it makes it look more glowy and more natural. And then this does not look natural, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going ahead and highlighting the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose my cupid's bow and then I also like putting a little bit on my chin uh, I guess I didn't do it this time though I do like to do that and then I'm gonna take um, the shade amaretto this is a blush shade and this blush shade is so pretty you guys I wish they sold it individually because I would totally buy it um, but I just love the warmth of it and how it goes so well with Champagne Pop. Then for the liquid lipstick that I'm using, I'm using the shade Virgin by Morphe. And this is the first time I'm trying a liquid lip by Morphe. And you guys, I'm very, very, very impressed with how long lasting this is and how comfortable it is. A lot of liquid lipsticks out there, they're not that comfortable. They're like super drying. They're sticky. They take a long time to dry. This has none of the above. I'm very much impressed with this and the fact like that the shade is just a perfect nude makes it e even like all that better. So yeah, then here I'm just gonna go ahead and touch up any details that I needed, well, that I felt needed, I needed to fix. Um, and just looking back on this video too, I can see other things that I could fix as well. And that's just what's fun about practicing makeup, you guys. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. Then to finish off the lips, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. And this is, oh uh, gosh, I think this is in the shade Butter, Buttercream, something like that. I'll go ahead and list it in the bottom bar below. Sorry, I'm not sure of what shades these are i filmed this so long ago and i'm finally getting around to doing the voiceover then i'm just going to go ahead and give my eyelashes a curl then i'm going to go in with any mascara that you want to i believe this is the big shot mascara by maybelline I'm coating my lashes 
but I still am going in with some falsies. Uh, these are the Morphe Wispy lashes. I really, really love these lashes. Um, I have like five pairs of them. <laughs> They're super affordable. I just cut them a little bit to like form my own eye shape and they work out. So yeah, I really love them. And then I'm just going in back with the NYC liquid liner and just making sure to cover up any glue that may be showing up or any shadow that may have fallen onto the lashes. Just going ahead, going ahead and darkening all that up. Then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and take this um, L'Oreal Voluminous Eye Primer. And I like doing this for the bottom lashes just because it kind of makes them longer and it just it makes it to where the mascara on the lower lashes doesn't really move around. Um, so it doesn't get flaky, it doesn't flake off and like fall on your cheeks throughout the day. It doesn't smear up and like make you look like you have raccoon eyes so it's totally like unnecessary but I just like to do it just because it makes everything look cleaner after applying mascara I'm going in with a white eyeliner this is from ColourPop you could use white or nude, anything that you would like. And just to switch it up for a nighttime look, I would definitely go in and use a black liner. So yes, that is it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I will go ahead and talk to you guys soon. Bye.